Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here with a contest response video for you guys. This is for Ricky Russo's contest. It is a uh, showcase your one-of-one one type of contest, and I went ahead and uh, pulled out quite a few of them from my collection. I think I have about uh, 40 in total from what I can find here. But um, I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to get in on the contest. I've seen some pretty cool videos from people as of late, so I wanted to be a part of it. And uh, Ricky, you don't have to include me in the drawing. Um, you do quite a bit for the community and helping out others. And this is just kind of my way of giving back and hopefully promoting your uh, contest and your channel and introducing more people to uh, all your good vibes. But uh, anyways, so let me go ahead and get started, guys. Um, I think about half of the cards that I have that are one-on-ones are going to be sketch cards like the ones you guys see in front of you right now. But then I have uh, quite a few uh, baseball ones as well. So... Without further ado, like I said, starting off to the left here, uh, Superman from the Superman series, Star Wars Galactic Files, um, X-Men, and then moving down to Marvel Fleer Retro, some really nice cards. Really like this set. It's one that I would love to put together one day. Uh, thing. I like how they have the name as well for all the characters. And that's kind of what the back looks like. So you can go through and you see the card number there. You can go through and collect the entire set. I know there's somebody, a couple of people I think on Blowout that are doing that. So they're just trying to collect uh, one sketch card of every single character. That's a, that's a pretty cool endeavor in my opinion. But uh, moving along to um, The Deep, brought to you by Viceroy. It's a sketch card company. Uh, it's one pack, one sketch card. Pretty nice. Really like the, uh, the look of a lot of these. It's a really nice looking lobster. <laughs> you don't get to say that too often. Pretty cool seahorse as well. I like that blue octopus. And a goodness. So, and then finish off my last non sport, I guess, is a really nice from Pop Century uh, Tracy Lord's auto. You're uh, more than welcome to Google who she is and what she's all about if you like, but uh, I recommend that you don't do that at work. <laughs> And then uh, moving on to some baseball guys, or just sports. Um, starting off with a Matt Stites. This is the white ice silver. I uh, picked this up because he seemed to be a pretty decent prospect for the Padres. Um, possibly a closer of the future. And unfortunately, they moved him over to the Diamondbacks, I believe. He was traded uh, right after I picked up this card. So um, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> uh, next one from Tier 1, Steve Garvey, the bat knob. Uh, I really like this one a lot because... Uh, Steve Garvey isn't actually included in Tier 1, aside from this card here. Uh, you can't find any of his other... Th he doesn't have any memorabilia cards or autograph cards, uh, to my knowledge at least, in the product. So this is kind of the only one... This is the only Steve Garvey Tier 1 card that I've ever seen pop up um, anywhere. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Handler Ramirez, one of one letter patch. That's just a sick card. It's pretty neat. Uh, Wada, super... Uh, we got Fred Lynn from Five Star. This year's Five Star, really nice. I'll probably eventually go after this Rainbow since I have the one on one already, and they're not uh, the other autos aren't incredibly difficult to find, and they're not too pricey either. So it might be an interesting project there. Uh, from TriStar Pursuit, Slade Heathcott with the inscription New York Yankees number one pick. We'll see how things turn out eventually. <laughs> uh, Hank Blaylock from Top Sterling Letter Patch to the right. And a George Foster auto from uh, my tribute collection, 101 Gold Onyx auto. Uh, I got a, a Chad James, I believe. No, Chuck James, sorry, from uh, Topps Chrome. Just a super fractor. I don't think he, he didn't really pan out. He did play for quite a bit, though, but I'm not really sure where he's at right now. I know he was with the Mets for a while. Uh, moving along from Triple Threads, Nelson Cruz, 101 postseason home run record. Uh, just a disgusting patch in the background. Looks really nice. Uh, this is from the Leaf uh, Power Showcase, I believe. What's this cat's name? I can't remember. Uh, Alex Kane. There we go. If you take a look at that, Leaf Power Showcase 2013. It's a pretty interesting product. Uh, had a lot of fun opening up this one. You're guaranteed one one of one per box. So this is one that I pulled. And uh, let's see. I think that's going to be the only one that I've pulled out of my entire clip. Well, aside from the sketch cards, the uh, the Viceroy ones. But uh, this is, the I think, the only one that I've pulled. Uh, nice. You want a Cespedes rookie printing plate from Topps Chrome. Uh, Jed Jerko from Finest. 
Uh, let's see, I like this one a lot. Yoshihiro Akiyama from 2012. There we go, 2012 Finest. It's like that. It's a cool looking card. Uh, Tony Gwynn, I believe this is from Archives. Got this from uh, Sir Ben, 2012 Tops Archives. It's pretty cool. like the look at that, like the shades. Uh, Fred McGriff, this is the black, excuse my shaky video, from uh, Triple Threads, black plate. I got a nice Helixon, the one I just recently got in from Tops, uh, one wood, wood parallel. And a uh, Zach Britton, Danny Duffy duel from Bowman Sterling. And the last one, actually this is one that I pulled myself, um, I guess it constitutes as a one of one, but it is the... Uh, uh, all the, well, it says it right here. Sorry, authentic autograph Randy Couture UFC Fight Glove. Now there are you can find two of these redemptions in the product, but um, the blog that I was reading is advertised as one left and one right, despite the fact that I think uh, they're they're both uh, universal in terms of like you can wear them a left hand or right hand. But uh, I did redeem it, and this is what came in. So it's pretty sick. Pretty sick indeed. Not really sure how I'm going to be displaying that in the future. I've had it for a while now, but I might, uh, I don't know. i got to figure something out with this. But yeah, guys, so that's kind of my uh, one-on-one collection. Like I said, it's quite a bit. I have quite a bit more back in the States, actually, just waiting for me. Just stuff that I purchased or traded for that just hasn't been sent or forwarded me here, uh, to me here in Japan. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, my favorite one, it's kind of hard to decide. Um... I might have to go with either the uh, the glove because I did pull that myself, or the Garvey because the Garvey's just a sick sick card. Man, it's just nasty. That's a cool looking card. But anyways, guys, so uh, like I said, check out the link down below. Get in on the contest and um, be kind to one another. I guess <laughs> that's all I got, guys. It's pretty late for me. I'm pretty I'm pretty burnt out. But uh, that's it, folks. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. Bye bye.